Hi, this is Pete, RapMySpider.com. Today we're going to show you how to apply our brand new 2020 Can-Am Spider RT Le Mans front trunk racing stripe. So this is a uh, new addition to our lineup. Um, we've had the Le Mans for a number of years for the F3 model, and now that the 2020 model is here, uh, we wanted to feature the same stripe because of how popular it is. So today we're going to show you a, a quick tutorial on how to do that application. Now uh, to expedite as far as time is concerned, we've already installed the uh, right side uh, stripe on the front, and that's our satin black material. And you'll also see that before we, you start, you're going to want to run a, uh, a gap tape stripe that runs uh, top to bottom and you want to make sure we include this this material uh, in with your kit but you want to make sure that it is right down the center of your frunk because that's what you're using for alignment along this leading edge when you do your install so when you tape your kit in place as long as you're aligned with this gap tape then you know you're going to have a nice straight racing stripe um, when your application is completed all right, well, let's get started. So the first thing that we always do, um, and one of the most important things that you need to do when you're doing your installation is surface prep. That is the key to a successful long-term install. 70% rubbing alcohol, kitchen paper towel. You're gonna prep that surface very, very well. You wanna make sure that there's no wax uh, in the area where the uh, racing stripe is gonna go at all. It needs to be completely clean um, you can, if you like, or if you question whether it's ready to uh, accept the stripe or not, you can do a quick tape test. You already have masking tape for this application, but you can take a piece of masking tape and stick it to the frunk and pull it up. So as long as you get good resistance like that, you know that it's ready to accept uh, your racing stripe. If you were to put it on and it was to pull right off with no resistance, you need to keep prepping. If you've ever ceramic coated, real ceramic coat, not do it yourself at home, real ceramic coat installed by professional, uh, you're pretty much out as far as stripes are concerned because nothing will stick to it. Uh, the do it yourself at home material or ceramic coat, um, not a problem. Typically rubbing alcohol will will take that off with a little bit of elbow grease. So to get started, first thing we're going to do, uh, we've prepped the surface, we're ready to start the install. Here's the second half of the stripe. This is how it's going to come to you. Uh, over the years, we've been cutting the stripes to, uh, to shape to make it easier for you uh, as a first time uh, user uh, to have a successful install. So the center hinge is on it. So over top of this stripe right now is transfer tape. Typically we have a little arrow with a red dot on one of the corners that shows you where to peel from once the install has been completed. So we have basically three layers, the top transfer tape, then we have the actual graphic, which is sandwiched between that and the backing paper. So right now the graphic is sticking to the transfer tape, which is what it's intended to do. Eventually the paper is garbage as well as the transfer tape. So we'll get to that on our install. So position wise, what we're gonna do is we're going to set the graphic in place. Again, you're using the gap tape as your alignment. So as long as the gap is the same, um, from top to the emblem and down below, you know you're ready to go. Uh, and you also want to do your best to keep it even with the other side, so you're going to match it typically. So once you have it in place and you like where it is, you're going to take your, your tape and stick that to each side of the frunk so it goes right across. And now it's taped in place so it can't move. And this makes your installation quite easy. So you can always check your alignment too across the top, make sure everything looks good. So let's say this is where we wanna put it. What's next? All right, it's taped in place. Pick a half, uh, typically I always go from middle to top first, um, but it's up to you. You're gonna peel off the graphic, making sure that it stays on the transfer tape and not the backing paper. Now. Uh, here's a point we need to consider. When you get your kit, 
The first thing you need to do uh, when you get the kit is, if at all possible, take it out of the box as soon as you get it and lay it in a flat surface. Do not keep it in your garage or somewhere else where it's an uncontrolled environment. Keep it in your home, lay it flat somewhere until you can get to the installation. When you get the kit, before you install it, you're going to lay it on a flat surface and you're going to squeegee out over top of the graphic. The reason you're doing this is to reattach the transfer tape to the graphic if you had any bit of tunneling or lifting. Um, typically with glosses or satin finishes, not an issue. Texture, carbon fiber, matte finishes almost always need re-squeegee. So make sure that you do that. That will help you in the end to have a successful install. So we've peeled back the graphic. Now we got to get rid of the backing paper. So let's cut the backing paper off, being careful not to hit the machine. And you're going to take your squeegee, which is also supplied in your kit, and you're going to hold the graphic a little bit in the air, taking your squeegee, starting in the center of the graphic and working from the middle to the outsides. Now it's going to fall in place because it's where you have it taped. So you're using medium to heavy pressure as you're squeegeeing. And then you've got the little ear where it kind of rolls up. So you're going to squeegee all this section out first. And then let's run towards where that little dip is. And we're going to push into the dip and up and over. Now you've got half of your graphic attached. Half of it is still on the backing paper. So now we can eliminate our hinge because it's tacked. Same process. Expose the adhesive. Now you can, if you want, you can lay it down because don't forget, this is wrapping film, so it's repositionable. So if, if, if you don't like it, pick it back up, reposition it, lay it down. So I'm going to put a little tension on it, tack it into place, and again, you're squeegeeing from the middle to the outsides as you work your way down to the bottom near that emblem. So we're going down and we're going to go around the emblem. And then you can go back over the whole thing with your firm pressure, making sure that it's down. Okay, so now we've got the graphic tacked down, squeegeed out. Uh, last step of the process, eliminate the transfer tape. So start on the corner. Typically, like I said, there's a little red arrow that says peel here after installation. We always recommend that when you peel your transfer tape, peel it back on top of itself on an angle. And that just helps uh, to prevent it picking itself up. So slowly peel the transfer tape, exposing the graphic. And then uh, typically after the install, it's not a bad idea to go over it with a hair dryer um, just to uh, help set that adhesive. And then you can eliminate your gap stripe. And look at that. You've got yourself a 2020 Spider RT with a really cool all new Le Mans style racing stripe from wrapmyspider.com. So isn't that cool? Installation is not crazy. If you take your time and you listen to this video, you should have good success. We're using very user friendly automotive marine grade wrapping film that has air release technology, conform technology. And it's, it's kind of difficult to, to mess it up. But uh, my name is Pete. I'm with wrapmyspider.com. We have a whole host of products coming out for the 2020 RT. This is one of the first, our Le Mans style racing stripe. This one is in matte black. If you have questions, you can email us at wrapmyspider.com. It's sales at wrapmyspider.com. And uh, keep checking the website because we're adding new products for the 20RT. We're templating every panel on this machine to create all kinds of cool products. So we're super excited. And we appreciate you watching our video on the Le Mans Racing Stripe for the 2020 Spider RT. Thank you very much.